Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to fit a KX82 tuner to an Elecraft KX2 radio and then more importantly I'm going to test it on the hill. So you can see the circuit board there, it's quite compact. First of all you've got to take the end off the uh, of the KX2 radio uh, to gain access and then the board simply slots in but you have to be very careful watching out for the delicate surface mount components on the vertical board. So once it's in, it's simply a case of plugging in the uh, antenna connector to the main board for the radio, and then we can start to screw the end case back on, and more importantly, fire it up to an aerial and give it a wee test. So on 18 megahertz, you can see on a long wire, it gets a perfect one-to-one -one match. I'm then tuning up to 10 meter band, hit the ATU button again and let's see what happens. Perfect one to one match. Right, let's get this on a hill and see what it's like. I give you the left ski centre. And my hill's over the back of that. Bet we don't want to see any of that rubbish. So we'll see you at the top. And here we are, 40 minutes later. Not the most impressive rounded lump in the world, and it's got a track that came from nowhere and seems to go to nowhere but it does have some nice views of the Cairngorms although they look very very far away from here so we're here for a test today the KX2 with its new internal tuner and my original HF SOTA wire antenna the W3EDP so we're probably looking at my lightest Sota carry for some time. So we've got the KX2, the battery and the W3 EDP which is a long bit of wire and a shorter counterpoise. I will leave instructions in the link at the bottom. That and the uh, mast which weighs about 700 grams. I reckon I'm coming in about two kilos which is quite light for me. That was a quick setup. We've got the mast up there the W3 EDP antenna is set up in inverted V fashion. We follow the wire down. You can see I've got strain relief there. That's the counterpoise wire heading back off into the bush. It's um, 9 to 1 homemade, un -un connected straight to the radio. I press the tune button. And that's a perfect one-to-one -one match on a piece of wire that that radio has never seen before. Okay, it's 1500 Zulu. I'm on 7.110. Running 10 watts. CQ, CQ, CQ SOTA, CQ Summits on the air. Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable calling CQ SOTA from Golf Mike Echo Sierra 030 QRZ. Mike Zero, Bravo Kilo Victor. Mike Zero, Bravo Kilo Victor, good afternoon. In your 59, I was beginning to get worried. Thank you very much for being first in the log over. Uh, everything's uh, up into uh, uh, quite a long stretch 
dip today. Anyway, five and nine, five and nine also. Thanks a lot. Okay, QSL 59. Yeah, thanks for that information. Uh, normally my skip takes me into the north of England and also the south of England, so it could be interesting uh, this afternoon. 0 EFI portable, QRZ. Alpha 5, Alpha 5, Alpha 5, Alpha 5, Alpha 5, I think we've got Papa Alpha 5, Kilo Mexico, go. Charlie Tango 1, India Lima Tango, and you're 59, 59, brilliant signal this afternoon. India Portable, this is Golf 7, Whiskey Alpha Bravo, T7, WAB calling. Golf 7, Whiskey Alpha Bravo, good afternoon, uh, stupendous signal, 59 plus plus, beautiful this afternoon, over. Oh, well, thank you very much indeed, Fraser. It's a great pleasure to catch up with you from T7, WAB, the club call, or one of the club calls anyway, of the World Tour Britain. And I've got your square, November Juliet 2-1, which is fabulous. The name here is Steve. Steve is the name. My normal home call sign is Golf 4, Hotel Papa Echo, G4HP, near Cambridge, and your 5 and 8, 58. Yeah, QSL 4-1, Manuel. You're 3-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 33, over. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, bye-bye. This frequency is in use. Mike, Mike, Zero Echo, Foxtrot, India, Portable. This frequency is in use. Mike, Zero Echo, QRZ. Foxtrot, India, Portable. Calling CQ from Carnelli said in the Cairngorms. Mike, Mike, Zero Echo, Foxtrot, India, Portable. Calling CQ, standing by. It's so sad. Okay, I think I'll call it a day after that, but that aerial and that box pretty much did the same job as my inverted V dipole does. It worked nine stations in quick succession, despite pretty poor band conditions. I got into Portugal and Spain. Hello, Manuel. Um, as well as Holland and a heap of uh, English stations, although they seem to be quite far south, so possibly a longer hop with this aerial than I'm used to. But I like it, so it will be coming out again, particularly in winter when I don't want to re-rig and mess about. And I need to keep the weight down in winter because I might be carrying more gear, more food, hot drinks, um, <laughs> ice axe, crampons, etc, etc, etc. So there you go. The tuner turns this thing into an absolute machine. A little box on the side and a long wire and off you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. 7-3.